We're about two hours outside of Los Angeles in the heart of the Mojave Desert here at Edwards Air Force Base, and you wouldn't believe the beautiful artwork at NASA Armstrong. Art is multilingual. It doesn't matter what language you speak, you can respond to this. And it doesn't matter how old you are, you can respond to this. It's the reason NASA created an art program in 1963, and it's the reason all the way out here you'll find amazing aerospace art. Much is the work of famed aerospace artist and World War II bombardier Robert McCall, with dozens of pieces by other artists, too. This is the Spirit of Flight research from 1977, painted by McCall on a linen-covered wall. While everything is focused on Chuck Yeager's X-1, some details are fixed on the future. This airplane does not have wings, and uh, we thought that lifting bodies were going to be the next big thing. This painting is 40 years old. We just now have a lifting body under test. The Dream Chaser is out in one of our hangars. Then they're celebrating a century of flight that picks up with the Wright brothers in 1903. All of these milestone moments that have happened in that century that are reflected in this painting occur because one person or a group of people believed that something that had never been done before could be done. Like the X-15 high-speed, high-altitude work depicted in this sculpture. And what you see is the space shuttle coming home to land on planet Earth on the legacy of all of the work that the X-15 did. McCall's 1997 accepting the challenge of flight was done to portray the connection between NASA's daily work and the future. When you look at what is reflected in these sunglasses, they are looking at a radically different horizon and there are stars in their eyes. Carla Thomas, Dana Purifoy, Ting Sing, and Anthony Moreno all still work here and are all depicted in the mural, though. McCall told us we wouldn't be recognizable in the painting, but I'm thinking we look like ourselves. McCall did his last painting at the age of 90, the 2009 portrait of Neil Armstrong called The Real Right Stuff. We took a map of the moon and looked, and that is an accurate map of Tranquility Base where that landing occurred. There's so much more NASA art at NASA Armstrong, and sometimes it goes on the road. Keep checking nasa.gov armstrong for upcoming events. At Edwards Air Force Base, Barbara Sharp for Spectrum News.